Hi, I'm Monica. In this second lesson, we will use artificial intelligence to populate the database with test data. That way, our application will look better by displaying realistic data. All of this with little effort. Let's go. Remember that in the first lesson we wrote a simple sentence asking it to generate the entities for our application. Windsurf generated vehicle. Policy. Customer. And claim. The application is up and running. Let's remember what it looked like. Let's go to the browser. Our application has the four modules ready to use, but without data. We can go to the vehicle list, and it's empty. We can also go to customers. We open the list, and it's also empty. The application feels deserted. Without data, it doesn't seem real. The purpose of this lesson is to fix that. We'll try asking our AI to generate some test data. Let's go back to Windsurf. Once in the IDE, we use the right-hand side, Cascade, to tell the AI that we want to fill our database with some test data. We do it in English, but you can also use your own language without any problem. Also, we're going to be specific, saying that we want a Java class with a main method. We also tell it to use JDBC and to get the SQL statements from a text file. Just a few seconds and it's already working for us. The first thing it does is analyze the project to find out which JDBC driver we're using. Then it analyzes our entities to understand the structure of our data. Next, it examines persistence.xml and context.xml to find the database connection URL. This thing knows where to look, it's no dummy. And finally, it starts generating the Java code we asked for, a Java class called Database Populator. There it is. Now it creates an SQL file with the test data. A little patience while it finishes working. The video is in real time, unedited, because we want you to see how agile this really is. No tricks. It's done, and as always, it gives us a summary of what it did. We accept it, and let's take a look at the code with our own eyes. We can see it has created a util package, and inside it placed the database populator class. At the top, we have the connection strings, then the main method, typical JDBC code, catching potential exceptions. It also created helper methods to make the code clearer. Everything seems in place. Let's run it and see what happens. We scroll up looking for the main. There it is. We click on run. And it fails. Without overthinking it, we copy the error message and complain to Windsurf. It replies that the class expected an argument, but it's no problem. It will update the class so it works without one. What it's doing is hard coding the path to the SQL file with the data directly into the code, which works perfectly for us. Done. We accept the code, and Windsurf gives us a summary of what it did. Let's try the new code and see if we have better luck this time. We click on run for the main method. And yes, now it says database populated successfully, which sounds pretty good. Let's go back to the browser, hit refresh, and see if we have data now. And yes, 
There is data. Let's click on the first client, on John. He has believable data, even some policies. There are also vehicles. And claims. We also have several policies. Let's take a look at one of them. As you can see, in just a few minutes and with hardly any effort, we have our application filled with believable and interconnected test data. The app looks way better now. But to achieve this, there's a little secret we're about to learn. The key to getting a good result quickly and effectively is to be specific. In our case, we said we wanted a Java class with a main method that used JDBC and read from a text file. That way we force the AI to create a solution that we know works well and is also tailored to our preferences. The more specific we are, the less we'll need to refine later. On the other hand, if we ask the AI to do the work without giving many details, without telling it how, the AI will still do it, but the result might not be very good because the AI doesn't know how to do things as well as we do, and it most likely won't match our preferences. The problem with being specific is that we need to have experience with the technology and the domain. If that's not the case, if we're new to Java and don't know what a class is, what a main method is, what JDBC and SQL are, then it's more difficult. But it's still possible. We can be vague, we can simply say, do something to populate our database. And with patience and persistence, the AI will get there. If we go that route, then what we need to do is learn so that next time, when we face a similar case, we'll be able to be specific. I hope you enjoyed the video. Notice that in just a few minutes, without writing any code, we managed to populate our application's database with pretty good test data. All we had to do was write a class asking it to do so, and be specific about how it should be done. It's true that it didn't work the first time, but just by copying and pasting the error into the chat, Windsurf was able to fix it. I'll see you in the next video, where we'll learn how to use artificial intelligence to model our OpenZava code and achieve a better user interface. See you next time.